Joanna Griggs is in the house from Better Homes and Gardens. Welcome. Thank you. I, I love what you've done with the place. You've used it up for me. You've well, we know, pushing, so so well, this is a feature called sponging on the walls. <laughs> yes. It's very, very nice. big. It's Ten probably will catch ago. on. It's not easy to get the, this shade of grey um, <laughs> in your walls, to be mm. honest. Moody. Um, Moody. Do people feel a little bit, um, I don't know, intimidated inviting you into their homes because, you know, you're looking around going, eh, seem better. Uh, seem are better. you kidding? This is generally how people invite you into your homes. Oh, I would really love this room made over. And if you come out the back, we'll show you. We'd actually really like a pool. Um, do you know what I mean? Maybe a deck, just a deck. And you just look at them going, ah, oh, okay. Or just free interior design. They just sure, want you know, a couple of tips. Should we knock this wall down? Structurally, do you think this is sound? So we get a lot of that. Because in, in, my in my book, you're not allowed to hire a handyman. You're going to be able You've to, got to do, do it yourself. yourself. Well, we actually do. Last week, uh, we started demolishing a house. And my husband, he's a builder. So we, yeah, we yeah. literally do all of that ourselves. We'll build in the next sort of eight months. And is it done within an hour, long. like on television? <laughs> well, on two days, I, I pulled down four and a half tonne of gyp rock and oh, uh, right. another tonne of, of timbers so, and Jack had him at the bathroom so I can't fun. do anything at my house uh, mm. my wife constantly calls in a uh, handyman including to put up uh, oh that's bad yeah. she calls in hire a hubby Hi- I know that's. I don't that's know. just so they can wear those tiny little short shorts. That, that might be Eddie was Brazilian <laughs> <laughs> no talk about the things that she called him in for Oh, to, ha- to hang pictures. Hang pictures, of what? course. What? I know. Yeah, and I know. and this, you'll love this, Joe. To put together the baby's crib. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> it was a bad day that day. I felt really ordinary. Yeah. But you can do other things. Yes, I can run very fast. That's yes. Right. <laughs> That's right. And, and you can he, kick a ball reasonably straight Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's pretty handy. Yeah, pretty yeah, handy. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's good. Mm. Thanks, guys. It'll be able to steam back up again. Now, um, I've always dubbed you as Australia's princess, Australia's <laughs> sweetheart. To me, you're the Reese with the spoon of our country. Oh, thanks, um, thanks, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I ate four bloody Reese with the spoons. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is the thing. You are tall. Uh, yes, are delicate's tall. not a word that's so ever been used to describe How tall are you exactly? Uh, six foot. You know what? Sean just said before you came in, he goes, I'm intimidated by tall women. Women, um, <laughs> and, and, and Glamazonians is what you are. You're like an Amazon woman. Oh, thank you. You know, it's, it's those women that look See, like they're superheroes. You know, you're, you're lovely. On the show, they call me the human eclipse. So they basically oh. make me stand so that I cover, like, in the background rubbish bins or if there's something that we don't want to be seen or, you know, a pole or a tree and they just a go, building. oh, God, so, no, yeah. what will we do? Joe, stand there. They should be the human eclipse. During car crashes. So we don't want people to see this. Joe, <laughs> great, stand there. Stand there. <laughs> nothing to see behind me, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing to see. Now, a pair of gloves on. My favourite thing about you is... Is that well? I heard somewhere that you've got quite big feet, and so yes. have I. And I'm hoping to find somebody, a woman, in fact, with bigger feet than me. What size do you wear? Uh, Eleven or twelve. You depending are on the way make. bigger than me. Wait, I'm are you a ladies? Eleven or twelve? Yeah, yes. I hope so. As a <laughs> I'm, I'm a 10. What is a ladies 11 ten, and 12 see, compared to a man's no, no, 11 no, no. and 12? See, 10's not a big size shoe because 10 you can buy in the stores Can you anywhere. tell that to no, these two, no. please? Show no, me. No, okay. no, no, no. because she's got no. a very thick... Hers is broad. It's a very thick it's about foot. that wide. <laughs> it's like as thick as someone's pelvis. <laughs> It might be as long. I've tried to point out to them that I can still buy shoes from a shoe shop. Just oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just buy four pairs of sole them together. <laughs> <laughs> but as a size 12, Joe, you must have to get them custom made. I, yeah. I, no, there's, look, there's a couple of stores. Actually, there's, uh, I won't say which brand, but shows? no, no. The funny thing is there's a couple of leading shoe designers in Australia and that next generation all have big feet. Mm. And one of them, his daughter, has a size 12. So all of a sudden, brands that years ago you couldn't get in, in big yes. size shoes now make big size shoes. Happy day. Can, can, I, can I see your shoe? You want to say, oh, God, yeah. it's, it's a right. boot. See, you know what? Skunky, isn't it? Because they don't. Your feet don't nah. look big because it's in proportion. Thank you. See, I always say if I had smaller feet, I'd You'd fall like an over. Idiot. <laughs> so, so, Joe, when you were swimming, like budgie or something. <laughs> That's right. I'd just be like, oh, off the ledge. <laughs> Joe, when you were swimming, that would have been yeah. pretty handy. I would have thought for backstroke. Do you know the? It, it obviously was, and it same with the size of my hands. But the um, the thing is, I, I swam against girls who were six foot seven and six foot. You know, oh, six yeah. and so at six foot I so was actually short one in I was arena. normal size yeah. and then I, I even in the world of modelling I was quite just average size and yeah. then when I went into the world of television I actually very quickly <laughs> learned I was like the walking gargantuan of a small screen <laughs> <laughs> went to a Logies I'm like oh my god what's happened I ate too many chicken steroids as a child <laughs> you don't realise everyone, everyone on TV is the size of Grant 
like Denya. They <laughs> are. They're yeah. tiny little yeah. people. Yeah. And everyone on our show, outside, like Tara and Karen, are, are not, I call them normal sized people. <laughs> but uh, everyone else on our show is really tall. And so we honestly feel like aliens when we walk into the floor. It was like, okay, the tall people are here. Yes, we're daggy. Yes, we're tall. We'll be going home. But now. we can reach stuff up from up there for you. <laughs> we're very good in supermarkets. Yeah. Yeah. Do you supermarkets wear heels a lot? I do because they put the same size heels on a size 12 shoe they do on a size 5. I have yeah. this argument all the time of, of just going, if they kind of worked out that if you've got massive, massive feet, maybe you probably don't need a six inch heel. <laughs> um, <laughs> someone one day will think about this. Or, because they, they seem to go, nice shoes for big feet are either like drag queen shoes yes. or they, they're moccasins. Sure. There's not a lot in sure. between. <laughs> so, style that's right. Between. So it's like, oh, I've got big feet. I must only want to wear Ugg boots and you know, stay at home on the couch. Or some hooker heels. heels. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Happy hooker or couch found. Awesome. You're in Perth for Better Homes and Gardens, of course, and you've been looking at some of our uh, more... Um, Iconic yes. homes. Yeah. One yesterday that we did, uh, the Masala House, was absolutely awesome. And was it, that the retro type? This is the disco house somewhere? in Very Dianella. much 70s. It's an Ivan Ivanhoff as the architect, and he actually did quite a, did about 120 homes in WA, and they're really kind of brutal looking. They, they actually look, it looks like Starship Enterprise yeah. on the outside, but inside, the owners um, just have done the most amazing job. It's, it's the youngest ever property on the West Australian Heritage List. Oh, really? It's wow. all 70s, including every piece of furniture. They've gone back, all the original, everything. It, like, Full dance floor, disco See, lights. To me, I've always seen that place, and I just think you just need to wash the walls. You just, <laughs> I'm not going to say what, but you know what happened in there. Oh, there was a See, lot of it. See, the, the, the way that we saw that was, wow, wouldn't this house have some stories? To tell? <laughs> yes, wow. that was. We, 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 we better home for that. It was the story nice. soundtrack would go, bum chicka wow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, Pete Colhoun, who I did the walkthrough with, who's yeah. our architect, he's hilarious. He dressed up in full 70s vintage clothes, and it was like he took on a whole different That's persona. Brilliant. It was br- it was fun. It was a really it. fun shoot. And then today, we're doing um, Melanie Greensmith and Mark McKenzie. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. They do a lot of their coming. photo shoots and stuff for Wheels and Doll Baby yeah, out of that the last property, campaign so. was there. Beautiful yeah. 12 hectares. They've got Arabian horses. Unbelievable. He has model airplanes the size of small cars, and she collects antiques. So. It's unbelievable to know that people are living that lifestyle over here. Yeah, I know. I know. I, we all just think, oh, we're FIFO workers. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you one yesterday, Natalie, that we saw in the paper, that big place out at the hill. Yes, too. yes, it's yes. incredible these houses exist. A $15 yeah. million dollar horse property, yeah. basically, it's out lovely. in the hills. Oh, look, there's some... There's like doesn't matter how many times we come over. There's mm. always a whole list of new properties that we can do, and we, we we sort of come over quite often. I come over several times a year to do all the architectural winners, and it just shows this whole. Like, we've got so many creative people and all different budgets. So you might yeah. have some that are fifteen million, but you yeah. might also have one that's a three hundred thousand dollar renovation. It's yeah. more yeah. achievable. Yeah. But even on those amazing ones, you can always break it down to something. That's you can a bit be of a take yeah, home you can take yeah. inspiration yeah. from it, can't you? Yeah. Well, or escape, just escape. It's like oh yeah, one yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I keep, if I keep yeah, working yeah, seven yeah. days a week, one day. Yeah, anyway, I'll be able to get in here. My squat. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love your work, Joe. Thank of you. Yeah. How long have you been doing Better Homes and Gardens now? Look, I've been on it eight and a half years, but the show's in its eighteenth season. Yeah. And Graham Ross has been there from the pilot, which I reckon that's for longevity in this industry, which is a pretty brutal industry. Yeah. That's yeah. quite awesome. Yep, that's we'll fun. keep up the good yeah. work. You're it's great, on jo. Thursday nights these days because of the footy. Uh, so eight PM. Yes, tonight. I'm smiling yes. through my teeth. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, thank Australia, sweetheart. <laughs> Reese Witherspoon, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're gorgeous, thank Reese you. Thanks. No, leave her.